Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at one of the most popular floor plans in the Tiffin Allegro Red entry-level diesel lineup. This is a 2021 Tiffin Allegro Red model 37PA. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Allegro Red and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at the super popular Tiffin Allegro Red. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hey everybody! How's it going? It's good, you guys. We're here in Richmond and I'm super excited. We have a bunch of high-end diesel pushers that we are going to be taking a look at this week. Yes, yes. So we do pre-apologize. Yes, we pre-apologize. But we got to knock them out when we can. Yes, that's right, because we are running out of inventory down south. Yep, yep. So I hope you enjoy the Tiffin. Cool. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Tiffin Allegro Red 37PA. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 39 feet even. Now, the Allegro, please do not confuse with the Allegro Red with the Allegro Red 340. They are two different brands. This one has the Cummins ISL 6.7 liter engine. It is a 360 horsepower Cummins engine with 800 foot pounds of torque. And we're sorry about the wind and you can imagine that we are not putting the awnings out today. <laughs> Andrea, right underneath here, we have a Cummins Onan 8000 generator. Very nice. Right there, we have a nice big windshield. And then check out these mirrors, Andrea. Nice big chrome mirrors with cameras integrated in the left side, right side, and reverse. Coming on down the side here, we do have a nice front bust out door with a door awning right there. Beautiful full body paint job. I love how Tiffin does that. And then look at these tires, Andrea. They're the Michelins. I love those. 275-80R, 22.5. Yeah. Sorry, Alcoa? No, no, Accuride, shiny, Accuride. shiny, shiny Accuride rims. I might have not have said this, but this does sit on the Freightliner chassis. It is an XCR chassis, which means it has the raised rail. You're about to see that in a second. I was just looking at the little doggy door there. Oh, little doggy window in the yeah. door. Yeah. Or the doggy window. Yes, right here, Andre, we have some batteries. Oh, look at them. They're Napa's. <gasps> Napa know how. <laughs> and they're it's on this slide, while. Andre. Yes, ma'am. Love those doors. Yes, these are nice aluminum same latch doors. But look, they're insulated real well. You can tell that they're thick and heavy. And then here, we do have a nice four-ride slide-out tray. Nice. Spare tiles for the inside and everything. Also, you have power right there if you want to have a golf cart hooked up or whatever. Coming on down the side here, we do have a nice LG TV with a sound bar there. It is an armless awning, which is nice. Very nice. With a weight sensor. And then look at that, there's more storage there. Wow. Okay. You can tell a huge difference when it's an XCR chassis. Yes. It's something that I love about Tiffin right here. Access to the refrigerator, right? <sighs> yes, ma'am. Took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> and then right here, oh. So this is your tanks, your fresh water fill, potable water fill, potable, potable, black water fill. And then look at the, um, Bobby, Bobby from Utah was telling me about these. These are better readers so you can get a more accurate level nice. of how your tanks are filled. You that's, said a fancy word. That's very important. Yes. All right. More batteries there and everything. Oh, is that the chassis? Oh. That's why the chassis battery wouldn't turn on. Oh, now we'll be able to turn on the engine. Right there, we have that. We have that. <laughs> you know. Whatever that is. It's just because it's neat. Why yeah. is it neat? Because <laughs> it is the way it is. And then right there, a little bit more storage. And oh. You okay? Yeah. All right, coming around the end to uh, the back here. 10,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 10,000 pounds. 
right wow. back there it's nice molded fiberglass rear cap and you do have a backup right there also we do have a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof andrea let's go up there and take a look oh my goodness matt Here we go. oh wow hold on here we go take your time okay up here on the roof you can see it's very very windy we have not one but two air conditioning units it is a nice one piece fiberglass roof right there you do have a satellite dish right there there's your digital antenna and it is just very big and nice okay slow okay two all right last step oh great and you have it already make sure you smash that thumbs up button one of the RV salesmen is called Dragus Wife up to Virginia. Show you what features the roof has to offer for you. Nobody. Nobody. And a little cut on my finger there, Andrea. Oh no. That's workman's comp right there. <laughs> uh oh. Finishing up with the driver's side. A little bit of storage, just cuz. Right here you have a Chumaha instant tankless water heater. Love it. 50 amp power cord with a reel. Wait, wait. Surge no. That's not a real, is it? No, that's not a real. Mm -mm -mm. I wonder how they get it back on there. Right, how they get that so tight? No. Oh, you have to wrap it. Yeah, no, I'm not a rapper. <laughs> Surge guard protector there. You're a nutcase. Your DEF fill. Right. Like that Allegro red right here. Here's where you dump your black and gray tank and everything. Water filtration system. Water pump, city water connection, black tank fill, a little bit of solar input there if you want it. Hotel holder. Right. All Very kinds nice. Of stuff. We got our storage. Yes, ma'am. It's all just the other side of that storage. Storage. And then right here is going to be your propane tanks, Andrea. Your hydraulic leveling system. And Andrea, bing! Right there's all the specs for everybody who wants to see who's watching on television. Coming up on the blinker fluid. No blinker fluid. Right here is where you <laughs> fill up your fuel. And then here, just more electronical components. Nice. I think that's all the fuses, right? Or the box. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Well, Andrea, the outside of the motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. And he doesn't skip enrichment. Oh, I skip. <laughs> As you can see, like there's a, some water here. It's a hopscotch. Check it out, Andrea. All right, let's get the cargo carrying capacity. I'll see if I can find it. All right, guys, slide is slides are in. 4,593 pounds. Wow. All right, you can see the walkway here is a little tight. Actually, Matt, you're gonna have to watch me walk through so everybody can get a visual. So as you can see, I am walking through here. Okay. And it's a little bit tight, but doable gets a little bit better right here and so let me have the camera and i will go to the bathroom oh let's see you come through oh i got it i'm lean and nimble <laughs> okay perfect so here is the bathroom you guys as you can see you can still use the bathroom with the slides in and then i'm going now to the master bedroom which you can still use the bed with the slides in so that's good and then somebody asked me about opening the refrigerator. So yes, you can open the refrigerator right here. Maybe not so much on the other side. Let me see, yeah, got room. All right, guys. Great. Now, Andrea, while the slide outs are coming out, we wanna give a huge shout out to our sponsors, My Waggle. And it's a really important product to me and we reached out to them. So many times manufacturers reach out to us this time we reached out to them because it was a product that we truly believed in. Come on back here and we'll tell you. So my waggle is an RV digital thermostat, okay? And what you do is, if you go camping with your pets, you need this product. So when you go camping and you leave your pets inside, you plug in your my waggle and it tells you the temperature of your RV via your, your app also it will send you alerts if the whole rv loses power which means the ac goes off 
or if the AC gets too hot or cold, okay? What's great about it is it do doesn't just notify you from the app, i.e. Wi-Fi, it will notify you via email and text message if there's an alert. So, the whole point, Andrea, is if you go camping with your fur babies and you leave them inside your camper every once in a while, like let's say you're at a restaurant, you need to invest a tiny bit of money and get a my waggle. Definitely, because you always want to make sure that you know they're they're okay and they're not overheated. Yep, yep. So for protect sure. your fur babies, everybody. And we have down in the description below a link, yep. and you will get a good discount. Yeah, they partnered with us. Entry bedroom mid bath. Now, as you can see, when I turn around Beautiful. here, it's look how open this is. Yeah, Andrea, let's get started up front. Oh wow. Okay. Oh man, this is nice. So check out what's going on up here. Right here we have our auto leveling, cup holders, auxiliary start, air horn. See, I feel bad because we got the guys working right there. Let's do a little beep okay. like a. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can hear. Woo! 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 The battery, the chassis battery disconnect was off and I couldn't figure it out. So I did a jump start to move it. Um, so you know that there's always manual ways in case you ever get in a situation. Woo! <laughs> Andre, sit in my co-captain seat. All right. Oh, I love these chairs. Yep. They're probably one of the most comfortable I've ever sat on. Oh yeah. Um, I like that it has a foot rest. Yep. And I believe they do swivel. Yes. Yeah, they do. Come they have the Tiffin right embroidery right there as well. And of course we have the step cover that goes across, which, here it is. So when, you know, you got the door closed and you're driving, you just pull this cover over, which is nice. Oh, and then you see how it went. they raised up. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Love that. And see what's nice is that there's two ways of doing it. You could be pressing it or I could be pressing it. Right. You also have a, a cup holder over here, some USBs, um, light switches, and you have the daytime. daytime. Pull down, pull down. Oh yeah, and daytime. And the privacy shade. Oh, very nice. Very nice. We got some cabinets up here, everyone. Yeah, let's check them out. All right, so I don't know yet how I feel about the I like the cabinet color, I just don't know how I feel about it in here yet, so. Okay, okay. Well, I like the quality of it. You can oh, definitely yeah, tell that it's real wood. Great quality. It's just... LG TV. All right, yeah, nice TV there. Yep. So you do not have the bunk over here, which is great, but you have all the storage and you have that nice TV. Yep, and as Andrea said, both seats do swivel around to become part of the living area, and this is a huge feature. The slide out buttons for right up here it's right here and here that way you don't you're you're making sure that your chair isn't reclined far back enough and you're not destroying your slide out or your right. or your chair and then over here in the living room area look at this wow andrea do you like the balances um uh they're okay <laughs> i like them you got nice cabinetry right there and we got a light sconce over here Ooh. Very I like nice. that. I feel like that is so modern that it doesn't mix with the interior. Yes. We got more down here, more down here. Very nice storage. Yep. Huh. Art Deco. N no. Oh, that, okay. That's not, that's definitely not Art Deco. No. But it's a nice picture. Yes. And then look at this. You have this individual recliner chair that you could pull out. Also, you have this J-shaped lounge. Okay? Pull that out, Matt. I want to see that. Here we go now. Oh, probably have to. Isn't it like a little button? Oh, I love that. Look how okay. much more seating you have. Here it is. So this normally stores underneath there. And then it hooks on that, yep, that bar. I love that. Yeah. It's Super nice and pretty. Andre, mo model. Model or chase for us or whatever. Oh, it's and it's comfortable. 
comfortable, everybody. Yes, nice, yes. Nice, comfortable sofa. I'm just looking at this mat because, oh, it is a pullout. Okay. Yes. So you also have a bed here that is a full pullout. It's multifunctional. It's yes. like a, it's the Swiss Army knife sofas. Absolutely. And then across we have, oh, okay. let's go oh, to look okay. at that. Not across, but adjacent. Have your LG TV with sound bar and a fireplace right there. What's nice about that fireplace is it does produce hoot. Heat. Produce hoot. <laughs> produces hoot. Sorry, guys. <laughs> It does produce heat from electricity. Are There's nothing panels? behind there. Okay. Yeah. Guys, look, they got little LED lights right here. Yes. And then over the dinette. Now, I like the dinette on this side. Oh, yep, yep. A lot of people do. And there's something very unique about the dinette once I show you the storage. Very nice. This dinette sits lower than most dinettes. Which, for somebody like me, I love this. I think it's fantastic. Whereas for other people, it's gonna sit a little too low and you're gonna have some thigh pains. But I think it's great. You got a solid surface right here. And again, this does drop down to make a bed. We have storage there as well underneath. We nice sure drawers do. you can pull out. And this must be like a table yeah, here. for over here. Cause I was looking at that and I'm like, what is that? What the heck so is So it, it goes here for your, um, over here, I think. Oh. Maybe. Oh, 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 are you okay? Safe. Oh my goodness. Okay, so yeah, that's like a little uh, coffee oh. table, see? That's and so that, fancy. Yes, and it folds right up and, and just goes underneath there when you're traveling. So that's, that's great. I've never seen that in a motorhome. Well, now you have. Hold on, Matt, real quick. Let's check out these lights. Look at that. Interesting. Very nice. Are you ready? Yes. You ready? I'm ready. I need you to say it. It's now time for the MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome here is $314,615 MSRP. Sale price, Andrea, can you see that sale price there? No. Do you know why? Because there is no sale price for Tiffins. Tiffins don't, well, no, there's sale price for Tiffins. Tiffin gets mad at us whenever we give you guys our sale price because it's so dang good. But Andrea, if somebody wants to buy this motorhome and they want to buy a Tiffin, tell everybody how they can get the best price in America. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or MattsRVReviews at gmail.com or send me an email, go to Matt, go to the website, mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see a contact tab with three sections. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one, that takes you to General RV and somebody from my team will get you the best price. If you have questions about this RV, not a problem, click tab number two, that sends an email to both Will and myself and we will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Andrea, it doesn't matter what tab somebody clicks, there's one thing that every tab will always get them. They'll get the best price in America. Andrea, let's continue the video. Okay, Matt, look at this kitchen. Honestly, Beautiful. it's incredible. Yes. So I would just start here, because this is a cabinet. Look at that, adjustable shelf. Yes. And a pyramid. <laughs> Prism. Prism. Prism, okay. Very nice. Prism. Look at this. Check out this mm. around the panoramic window. One of my Looks favorite so features. Nice. Look at how big that window is. I know. Look at it. It's one of my favorite features in Tiffins. Yes. Looks like we have a pull-out peninsula. Oh, whoa. Yes. Hold on. Figure it out. Oh, snap. Look at that. Very cool. We got, ooh, for Drawers. utensils. Yes. Three drawers. It's like a Russian nesting doll. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Push back in. All right. So we got a nice convection whirlpool microwave here. Okay. Very nice size. Good size. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So yes, this is always hard for me to figure out because, oh, there we go. Oh, that's heavy guys. Yes, it is. Wow. Okay. So we got a three burner Furion cooktop that runs off your propane and it looks like it's more residential style. Yep. We got, oh, look at that big drawer. Nice. And then another one here. And then this here, I think is just. Nope, it's for mechanical. Invented, yeah. Yep. Okay, and then we got more cabinets up here with adjustable shelves. Yes, ma'am. 
We got the double residential style sink mm -hmm. and the extension there. These are so heavy. Okay. Underneath. Oh! That's a hundred and four dollar trash can. That's a little trash can. Yes. But that was well, nice of them. It's a Tiffin. <laughs> and another cabinet. Very oh, nice. more drawers over here. Very nice. Wow, this this kitchen has a lot of storage in it. I'm actually really surprised about that. And we got the LG residential refrigerator that runs off your inverter. Oh yeah. And the nice freezer here. Wow. Love that. Super nice. And the pantry. Look, I love these kind. Just pull out like that. Yes. Very nice. Very nice mat. Andrea, Da Vinci? Um, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> But I like it. It's a very interesting picture. And then right here is your control panels that control everything. Lights, slide outs, and everything. And then check this out. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. So Andre, you don't know this. Bobby and I did the 34, did Mr. Cranford's 34 PA, which is a very similar setup. Something that we didn't like was that the washer dryer was right here. Okay. And it was protruding out, making it kind of weird and awkward. Without that washer dryer here, our thesis was Look right. There's spacious, a lot more space. Very spacious in there. Yeah. This shower, very nice. One piece fiberglass shower. Very big. You have these indentations here. Good height. Nice glass door, nice height, everything. I like that it has a seat in there too. Yep, yep. The medicine cabinets. Okay, this is humongous. Wow. Look at all that. the medicine you can put in there. <laughs> we got double sinks here, double vanity, very nice towel holder cabinet there over here as well. And then we got three drawers. One, two, and three. Very nice. Okay, and up here, you got your, uh, I don't know if that's a Max Air fan. Max and Air fan. we got two pocket doors, which is nice on both sides. Yep. And then look at the toilet. Let, let's see. It's now time for the toilet test. I'm going to get in the shower here and get this angle. Oh no. Oh no? Oh no. No, it's not. I'm way up against this wall. The angle of the dangle ain't right. They didn't... I, I think because of the slide right there. Yeah, no, bay, no. Same thing. Same thing as the gas motor home. I mean, yeah. I can't give it. No, I mean, Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Sorry, it feels like I hate Tiffin. I don't hate Tiffin, but I love Tiffin. We sell Tiffin and everything else. It's just, that that's not passive. All right, you go through that way and I'm gonna go through this way. Okay. So here's the entrance into the master. First thing I notice is this huge king size bed. Yes. Very nice. Oh my goodness. Good comfortable bed too. You gotta get those lights on back there so I can, okay. So I, as you can see, there are, okay, we'll do the cabinetry. Yes. Run I wanted to show the windows right here because wow. it's, it's very interesting how then, they have the wood. Yeah. And balances. then look at those back, back windows or uh, lights, push it in. Oh, fancy. Blue. It's a good night light, I guess. I guess, yeah. Um, and over here, you have the panel electrical outlet. You do have a little bit of a, a nightstand, not much. You got a USB there, which yep. is nice. And little cabinets underneath. And on the other side as well, yes. you have the same thing. So great right. cross ventilation. Now right here, this is where your washer and dryer would go. Okay. Oh, sli slide over. Let me get the bottom of that. All right. Okay. And look at this step up, you yep, guys. There is a step up, which I personally don't mind. You have your wardrobe. Yep, wardrobe here, pillows and fixtures and everything. And then the other side. Oh, yep. No, okay. it's just a fuse box. Yeah, but that's nice. And Matt, I just noticed that there's all carpet here in the bedroom, which is I noticed it as well. We will bring that up in just a few minutes. Right here, you have your Wally from Dish Network, your Blu ray player, Hoppa, the Hoppa from Dish Network. Nice little drawer right there. For your laundry, more drawers, and more drawers oh, here. Oh, that's a long drawer. Did we open this? No. And here it is here. 
Wow, and you got the little window there and the ta the, the dresser. Awesome. And I know a ceiling fan, I love that. I cannot Very sleep nice. without a ceiling fan. Let's see if there's storage under here. And the bed is super comfortable, you guys. Okay, so you do wow. have storage. Look at all those manuals. Awesome. You need a manual just to read the manual. Yes. And as awesome as it is, Andrea, and as great as it is, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Three things we love about it. Let's do dislikes. Okay, three things we dislike about it. Or wait, no, you're supposed to say love. I forget. Okay, redo it. I'm sorry, you guys. We are just, you know, silly today because, of course, when you get to traveling and sleep deprivation. Yes. It was so the, forgive us. The deprivation. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever you want to do first. I want to do three things that we like about it. Okay, you go first. I will say, I love all the storage in here. Yes. It's amazing. I mean, I love the pantry. I love all the cabinets. Yes. There's so much storage in here and outside storage. Both so inside and outside. That is my like. Okay, so that's one. I like this light, but that's okay. not good enough for number two. No. <laughs> number two is I do love the furniture in here. I love the dinette. I think it's low to the ground. It's easy for somebody small like me. I think this is very comfortable. I like how it has an extra seating area. And this coffee table thing is pretty cool and neat. And I've never seen anything like that. So that's two. And then number three, Andrea. Number three, I love, I love this kitchen. Yes. I'm sorry, I love it. I love the window here. That window is huge, and set that down. Yes, the counter space is amazing Solid in surface. Yes, beautiful very, countertops. Very nice. I love it with the a peninsula. Plenty of places for me to prepare food. Yes. You guys like to cook. It's, I love this kitchen. It's so, amazing. Yes. Great, so that's three things we love about it now. It's time for three things we don't like about this motorhome. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, <laughs> bum. Okay. What? Your dislike and my dislike are going to be the same. Oh, well, then you go first. Okay, so guys, eh, I'm not a fan of the, the, the carpet in the bedroom. But yes. I think I understand why they had to do it. Well, no, but there's carpet everywhere. Yeah, well, that's because of the slides. Yeah. But, yeah, it is a little bit weird how there it is a whole carpet back here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, It's just definitely. too... TMC, too much too carpet. Too much carpet. Yep, Definitely. for sure. Uh, that's gonna be number one. Number two, I'm gonna say it, and here's why. That toilet placement sucks. The whole thing is, in the 34 PA gas motorhome, it wasn't that big of a deal because it was a gas motorhome. Also, they had to cram the stackable washer dryer in the bathroom. Here, there, there's just plenty of space. They could have done a better job and they didn't, so I, it, to be in a diesel, a 39 foot diesel push, the whole point is, to be in a 39 foot diesel pusher and not get a prime pooping position, in my opinion, just not cool. So that's the second dislike, and here's the third dislike, you ready? Yes. This person's A-OK, -okay, but this person, this person, that person, all has to turn their head sideways to watch the TV right here. Yes. Uh, there's a big upgrade in the 34 PA, and there'll probably be a big upgrade in the 2022 37 PA. I'm not sure For a where elevator. the TV will be across on the I elevator agree. there. Yep. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. That's the Tiffin Allegro Red 37 PA. Now, do us a, if you guys have any questions about this motorhome, please call us, text us, send us an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell, or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of three contact me tabs. In just a few moments, if you're in the market for a motorhome like this, we're gonna show you the competitors right here and here, and one of them is going to be a new more. so we're excited about it. Andrea, is there anything you wanna say? Yes, everybody, real quick, um, thank you so much. <laughs> Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Uh, Tiffin does read the comments, you guys, so we're excited for the feedback. Yes. Also, my Weigel! <laughs> Make sure you check that out, you guys. We have a link down in the description below. Yep. And you get a discount off. Protect your fur babies. Yep. Um, other than that, I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time! time.